All right, we are going to be looking at number patterns. So a list of numbers where there's a pattern is called a number sequence. And all the numbers that make up that sequence are called its members or its terms. So I have two sequences here. I want to describe the pattern with words and write down the next two terms. So what's going on here? We're looking for a pattern. So, going from 2 to 6, what are we doing? Well, we got a couple options. I'm going to say we're adding 4. Is that the pattern that holds true through this whole sequence of terms? 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. So, we are starting. Start with 2. Then each term is four more than the previous. And how would we find the next two terms? Well, let's think about that. We get from the first to the second, we added four. Second to the third, we added four. Third to the fourth, we add four. So to get from the fourth to the fifth, we guessed it at 4. So our next two terms are 18, and we add 4 again to get 22. Notice the second sequence. It starts out the same. 2, 6, but then it's not 10. So it's not adding 4 consistently. So we have to think of a different way to get from 2 to 6. Multiplying by 3 would do it. Does that hold true with these other ones? Going 6 times 3 is 18, and 18 times 3 is 54. So here, our description is start with 2, and then each term is the previous. multiplied by 3. So, how are we going to get our next two terms? We're going to take the 54 multiplied by 3. Get 162. And we take the 162 and multiply by 3. We get 468. I could ask you for the next 100 terms, and you could eventually list them all out. It would just take you a while. 